Hey, hello, how's it going? We're in Los Gatos today, and I'm rocking the Canon R6 Mark II with the RF35 1.8 and the Sam Young 85mm 1.4. The whole reason why we're here is our friend got a new job, so we wanted to visit her, do some shopping, and, well, I'm super responsible and I spend all my money on cameras, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some repetitions in today. My goal for this session was shoot more from the hip, be more of a traditional street photographer and just kind of play in the background while everyone else is doing their thing. My goal for the next couple of months is really figuring out what my voice is and how do I improve from what I started a few months ago and then just keep growing. We're about to walk into a cafe and well, I forgot to adjust my ISO for indoors, so it's gonna get a little too dark. So I'm just gonna show you the photos instead. And I also asked someone for a portrait. And the reason why I did that is I want to get something that I know I can get done. So when I go out in the field, I'm already a little bit warmed up. Before I let you guys go, if you guys like the video so far, go ahead and like the video and I'll pop my head in towards the end. So I'll see you guys later. I was wondering, can I take a portrait of you? Yeah, sure. And I could send it over your way when I'm done. Here? There's, I was thinking about that spot and then this spot if that's okay. No, we can go there. All right, for sure. It was kind of annoying. It was this deep water. If I can get someone walking here, that'd be pretty cool. But in, in terms of like, like th the time to shoot Los Gatos and like, and get it like a re really, Los Gatos is more of like a morning type of uh, place you want to shoot in. Like in terms of like when it's like, when the farmer's markets are happening and like other stuff, that's when it's like on and popping. Holy. There's a lot of cool stuff here. It's probably better on the outside than it is here. I'm gonna save this for my for my brain. It'd be cool to get some portraits done here. Shooting two. I got that shot, that was pretty nice.
Is it too dark? Let's see if I can get this little guy here. <laughs> yeah, look at one. <laughs> beautiful. Well, I have to dry this sucker because this thing isn't isn't weather skilled. So it's gonna be a bit of a problem. And I hope my mic doesn't get too buzzy either. I split off from my girlfriend for about an hour or two. She did her own thing. I did my thing. Found a great restaurant. And I snapped some photos off camera. The food was delicious. It was amazing. Never had delicious food like that before. Like, um, I felt like a toddler eating a piece of meat for the first time, you know? I noticed in the beginning I was very snapshotty and once I got warmed up I slowed down started focusing a little bit more on my compositions so I am noticing that I am improving but there's also moments like when you're actually like in there you feel like you're at a stop so it, it's always like a, a live and let learn situation so I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, this was a impromptu video I'm probably gonna make more camera videos in the future. I have a lot of R7 things to make. I'll have a lot of street photography things I want to do. I also want to introduce Micro Four Third system as a street photography setup just because I think it's really cool. And um, it's a lot cheaper than Fuji at the moment. But anyways, we'll get to that when we get to that. Where's the end? Just started pouring like crazy. But um, hey, if you guys like the video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Back.